Hi everyone, it's Annie from Staycation Adventures. I hope you're having a lovely day. In this video, we'll take you around Plymouth Gin Distillery in Plymouth. It's situated right in the heart of the Barbican area of Plymouth, just a short walk from the city centre. We decided to book a trip here as it's something I've wanted to do for a really long time. So according to our tour guide, they distill all of the Plymouth Gin at this site. They also have a brasserie restaurant, cocktail lounge and shop, as well as multiple popular tours. The tour we went on was the Plymouth Gin Distillery Tour and includes the history of the distillery and some gin tasting. This costs £11 and lasts around 40 minutes. On arrival, there are plenty of porcelain signs for the Covid measures in place. They had extra cleaning procedures and high contact zones and plenty of hand sanitizer. There was also a member of staff to greet you and to point you in the right direction. If you do fancy doing a tour, please book ahead as when we visited they were fully booked for the next few days. The member of staff was also reminding people to put on masks before heading in as well as asking visitors to fill out the track and trace contact cards. When you walk in, the brasserie is up the stairs on the right and the shop is on the left. You head to the shop to pay for your tour and they'll ask you for the name you booked under and you're able to pay by cash, card or contactless. Then go straight up to the platform in front of the big glass windows looking into the distillery rooms. The ground mark is on the floor to spread groups out while waiting. As our tour was a big group, we headed straight into the distillery room when no cameras were allowed. In the distillery room, there are more grand markers to space groups out. We were told about the history of the building and the history of the gin at Plymouth Gin. We were also told about how the gin is made in that exact room. I do advise booking your tour on Monday to Thursday if that's when they distill the gin. After that we moved upstairs to the bar. This clip is for the setup of a different tour after hours but as you can see groups are spread out and kept in their own little bubbles. We were greeted by a selection of gins and a lovely glug jug of water. We had a small portion of Plymouth gin in some water for tasting. We also had some slow gin which became my new favourite and the fruit cup gin which is similar to Pim's and quite tasty too. We were led through the session by one of the masters of gin who was so informative. I felt like a real gin connoisseur. <laughs> Next we were given a complimentary gin drink. You can choose any of the gins you tried and have them however you like them. Alternatively, you can have a little bottle of gin to take away. For any children or those not wanting to drink, they do offer a non-alcoholic drink using some of the botanicals they use in the gin. That's where the tour ended and we were free to enjoy our drinks at the other end of the bar, where again we were spaced out. Just a note, there is a lift if you are unable to take the steps up to the bar and the brasserie. Barbican Brasserie is open and the tables are spread apart with other measures in place to protect guests. Finally, we headed to the shop where we were able to learn more interesting things about the distillery. You are able to purchase Plymouth Gin souvenirs, including your very own glug jug. as well as, of course, some Plymouth Gin. If you want more Plymouth Gin, head to Chocochino, which is next to Plymouth Gin. The reason to head there is that they have Plymouth Gin chocolates. 
They also serve plenty of delicious things to eat and amazing cakes. Their brownies are out of this world. We had a really fantastic time at Plymouth Gin. It was just an amazing experience. I love gin, so it was a fantastic way to understand a little bit more about it. So I did feel really safe at Plymouth Gin. I thought that it was a very safe environment because there was plenty of space to social distance in the rooms. And I did like that we were all kept in our bubbles and that that was kind of um, catered for. Um, by Plymouth Gin and I really liked that there was hand sanitizer in lots of the areas in the distillery as well and I, re I really liked the fact that during the video you might have seen that there were uh, boxes of uh, cleaning equipment in the areas where the tour does go which I thought was just a fantastic thing to see that they had it there ready to clean after a group had been in. So I give Plymouth Gin a big thumbs up I had a fantastic time, I felt very safe and it was really informative and it was a really nice way to spend the afternoon as well. It wasn't a sunny day um, so it was really nice to spend the day kind of out of the wind and inside the distillery. I did feel very safe and I highly recommend that you go. They do normally have smaller groups um, than the one that we were in which would make more other people feel a bit more comfortable. Um, so I highly recommend you go, it was just a fantastic experience. So if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. We do videos like this all the time. I travel around the UK and do reviews of places and see how safe they are in the new normal give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it i really like to know that my viewers enjoyed the video and comment down below to let me know if you are planning on heading to plymouth gin or if you've even tried plymouth gin before like and follow us on instagram and facebook for more posts and updates and i'll see you on the next adventure